Hello students, welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 9, Functions of List and Programs Using List. So what are the functions we can use in a list? Copy, Count, Index. Copy is to make a copy of a list. Count, to count the occurrence returns the number of similar elements present in the list returns the index value of the first occurring of the element reverse reverse the order of the element in the list sort sorts the element in list that means in ascending order or descending order it can be the elements of a number or characters for, for ascending order, list dot sort is enough. To make it in reverse, we have to say sort within the bracket reverse equal to true. We'll see the example now in a IDA. See here, my list equal to 12, 12, 36. We'll have it as 14. Now run. My list is having 12, 14, 36. We are creating a copy as x equal to my list dot copy. So a copy of a list is created and it is stored in the variable of x. So if we ask to print the x, it is giving the list value. Is it clear? Next one is count. So it is going to count the occurrence of the element 12. As the 12 is 1, the count has to come as 1. So occurrence is 1. For example, think that it is also 12. So now the count should be 2 because we are asking to Print, uh, print the count of 12 as 12 is coming two times the output should change to 2 yes it is changed first it is 1 because it is only 1 12 here it is 2 12 so the occurrence of 12 is 2 counting of the number 12 in the list is 2 next we are going to print the list value list value that means we are asking to print the index value of 36 what will be the index value 0 1 2 so it should be 2 yes the copy is given as the same value the count of 12 is 1 and the index value of 36 is 2 now we will see what is the reverse. It is 12, 14, 36. If we ask to print the reverse list dot reverse means it has to print in the reverse order 36, 14, 12. Yes, it is in the reverse order. Next one is sorting. Sorting in the sense arrange the letters in alpha ascending order actually it is in ascending order so we make make a change so first sort has to give in ascending order next sort reverse equal to true so this has to give the reverse that is in the descending order Yes, first the list of copy, then occurrence of 12 is 1, index of 36 is 2, then the we are asking to print in reverse. So 36, 12, 14. Next one is sort. 
So 12, 14, 36. It is in the ascending order. Next, sort reverse equal to true. So it is in the descending order. 36, 14, 12. We can also find the maximum number in the list, minimum number in the list, and sum of the list. So sum, here it is in the bottom sum of my list. So it will sum all the values in the list. So copy of the list. Occurrence of 12 is 1 time and the index value of 36 is 2. It is in the reverse order. Ascending, the sorting in ascending order. Sorting in descending order. Then maximum number is 36. Minimum number is 12. And summation of 14 12, 36 is 32. So, list can be manipulated using these built-in functions. Even we can use list in many programs. See the first program divided by 4 equal to square bracket. What is the meaning? It is a list variable. Then for i in range 21. So what is the error here? The 21 is taken as the n value. Starting value is treated as 0. So, ending value is 21 means normally list is n minus 1. So, what is the uh, last value? 20. So, when i is 0, next i is 1, it will move from 0 to 20. If i modulus of 4 equal to equal to 0, that means if the given value in the i is divided by 4, then it should be added to the list divided by 4. So it will check probably 0, 4, 8 will come. So after the end of the for loop, all the numbers divisible by 4 from the range of 0 to 20 is stored in the list. So here see the output 0, 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. So instead of 4, if we change it as 3, what will happen? It has to give the numbers which are divisible by 3. So now it is giving the numbers divisible by 3. Next, there is an a program as a list variable country with the values of country names India, Russia, Sri Lanka, China and Brazil is member is a variable name input enter the name of a country so we are getting a value from the user what is used here if is member in country that means if the value of is member is present in the list country we are asking a question like that if it is true means it will uh, the if condition is true then it will say is a member of BRIC or else is not a member of B or ICS. Shall we check now? Enter the name. See, I am giving as India how it is in the list. So it is saying as India is the member. If it is, if you are giving on a small case, it will not accept because it will take it will check the value as it is in the list so here you have learned how to check a value in a list using in function sorry in q 
keyword. Then there is another example program in your book mox equal to empty square bracket subject is 3, 4, 5, 6 subjects are given for i in range of 6 so m input enter marks that means first mark is taken for Tamil, English, Physics like that it is going to get 6 values and it is appending with the list of marks. And again, there is a for loop, i in range, length of the marks. It means it will give the total number of elements in the list, marks. Here, they are using a format function. I hope you will remember this. Empty curly braces, curly brace dot, another curly brace, marks equal to another curly brace. That means I want a number here another number for another variable for here and another variable three variables should be there so it should be given with the function name of format this is said to be formatting the input output statement so format so first j plus one is given in the first curly brace next subject of j is in the next and marks of j in the last one Finally, they are giving the total marks equal to sum of marks. They are using the predefined function sum here. How many functions are used here? First one is uh, uh, range is a function, input also a function, int also a function to convert the given string into integer. Then append is a function, len is a function, again sum is a function. What are the list of functions present here means? First one, range also range also can be used to form a list, but directly we are using append to add the element to the end. Next, len to find the total number of elements in the list. Then sum to find the sum of elements in the list. So there is a error. Yes, the comment codes are not taken. So enter the marks. Enter. So it will ask six marks. So first Tamil mark is 80, 96. So all the given marks are assigned to the subject as in the order and the total marks is given. So likewise we can, we should learn to use the list in a program. Try this at your home. Try the hands-on experience program also given in that chapter. Thank you. Have a good day.